Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. Visited by millions of tourists every year, Paris, France is one of the world's most popular vacation destinations. And it's no surprise why. Paris has numerous world-renowned attractions like the Louvre Museum, the Eiffel Tower, and the Arc de Triomphe, as well as picturesque narrow streets, gorgeous centuries-old buildings, and delicious cuisine. There are so many things to see and do in Paris that it's hard to decide what to do. One of our favorite things that we did on our trip to Paris was our delightful Seine River boat cruise, which included a delicious multi-course meal, lots of wine, and of course, some incredible perspectives of Paris. So today, we'd love to bring you along on our beautiful boat tour of the scenic Seine River. So let's go check it out. On our way to the boat tour, we walked beside the Seine River and came across this ornate 19th century bridge in front of the Grand Palais. Very pretty. 20 minutes later, after a very scenic walk, we arrived at the departure point for our Bateau Parisien boat cruise of the Seine River. The departure point is located right next to the Eiffel Tower. But since we arrived early for our boat tour, we had some time to go and check out this interesting looking market. As soon as you walked into the market, there was this cool Love Paris sign. After a quick video in front, we kept walking so that we could explore inside the market to see what it had to offer. At the front, there were lots of tents set up selling bags, hats, souvenirs and other touristy products. As you continued further along the market, there were all kinds of stalls selling mouth-watering food, desserts and drinks. And in the middle, there were plenty of picnic tables set up for the hungry customers. Some of the tasty food options that we saw were these huge pans of paella, as well as all these massive pots of meat and veggies next to all of these different types of sausages piled high and being fried up with onions. Oh man, that looks good. All within sight of the Eiffel Tower. If we hadn't already booked a multi-course lunch with the boat tour, we would have definitely been trying some of the scrumptious looking food here. Before temptation got the best of us, we made our way over to Pier 5 to check in for our two-hour Bateau Parisien boat cruise. We ordered our tickets online in advance, so we just had to pick them up here. Then, we walked over to Pier 7. They checked our tickets, and we headed on inside. While waiting to board, we relaxed in this air-conditioned reception area. Then, when it was time for boarding, we followed the waiter through the boat over towards our table. We decided to book the lunch cruise's privilege service, so we got a table right by the window. There's also a 12 service for the middle seats. We sat down, enjoyed the view, and had a look over the menu options. Then, to start the cruise, we were served a couple glasses of champagne. What a great way to begin! On top of that, before we left the dock or had even finished our champagne, they brought out a bottle of white wine for the table. After that, it was time to cast off and begin our scenic Seine River boat cruise. We're so glad that we got perfect weather for our voyage. One of the first things that we noticed on our journey was how ornate the bridges were. Like this one, embellished with columns, intricate finishings, and this huge crest in the center. What a work of art! After we passed by this beautiful bridge and the Grand Palais behind it, it was time for the appetizer. I got the tuna and vegetable caponata on shortbread with parmesan and spicy roasted peanut dressing, and Tom chose the pressed quinoa and tofu terrine with cream of rocket and pickled red onions. As we ate our tasty appetizers, we enjoyed the views of the Louvre, which just seemed to keep on going and going. This museum is massive. After we passed by the Louvre, we cruised on the right side of the Ile de la Cité and went under this historic Pont Neuf Bridge, which is the oldest in Paris, dating back to 1607. Very cool, but there's more to see. So let's keep going, past some more beautiful Parisian buildings and the historic Notre Dame Basilica, which is still being repaired after the fire of 2019. After passing by both Ile de la Cité and Ile Saint-Louis, we made our way out into the wider part of the Seine River and were greeted with this beautiful view. 
Continuing on our voyage, we enjoyed some more breathtaking scenery of gorgeous centuries-old buildings before approaching the newer part of the city, which had lots of more modern-looking buildings. As if the glass of champagne and the full bottle of white wine wasn't enough, they brought over another bottle of red wine for our table. It's amazing how much wine they included with our privileged lunch service. As we sipped on our wine, we cruised by some interesting looking buildings. Then, it was time for the main course. I had the fondant beef with frique pilaf, sweet pepper confit, and grated feta cheese. And Tom chose the salmon steak with black rice, asparagus and olive sauce vierge with chardonnay emulsion. Tom really liked his salmon dish, and my beef was super tender and tasty. After our boat turned around, we passed the City of Fashion and Design building. And on our way back, we went around the other side of Ile Saint Louis, where we continued going underneath beautiful bridges and enjoying the charming views of the attractive buildings lining the riverbank. Once we passed by Ile Saint Louis, we noticed the crane working on the Notre Dame Basilica, which is situated on Ile de la Cité. Next, we cruised by the Conciergerie Museum, which is a gothic riverside fortress and French Revolution prison, which houses Marie Antoinette's former cell. And then we headed back under the other span of Paris's oldest bridge, Pont Neuf. For our next course, we each got a plate of cheese matured by their maître fromager, which is an extra included with the privilege service. As we ate our cheese, we passed by the impressive dome of the Institut de France located in the 6th arrondissement. And after that, we passed by the spectacular Musée d'Orsay, which is housed in a monumental former railway station. As we kept cruising along, we saw lots of tour boats loaded with people like this one here. And as we came out from under the bridge, we saw the Eiffel Tower in the distance. What a gorgeous perspective of the Eiffel Tower from the water. If you want to see a tour from up in the Eiffel Tower, then make sure to check out our video on it, which we'll link in the description section down below. Continuing along, we passed by the dock where we started our tour and made our way further along the Seine, where we saw this beautiful blue boat which also offers a lunch cruise. Then we took a quick video of Mike while we passed by the iconic tower. Shortly afterwards, it was time for dessert. I chose the baked Alaska with apricot and coconut and Tom decided on the strawberry lemon and mint cake roll. The next thing we knew, when we looked up, we saw the Statue of Liberty. It's a nearly 38 foot tall replica of the Statue of Liberty which was unveiled in Paris in 1889. What a cool shot with the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower in the background. After our boat got turned around, we each had a cup of coffee to finish our meal. Two hours later, after the lovely lunch cruise, it was time to get going. For those wondering, our privileged service cost 79 euros per person, including all taxes and fees, which we thought was a great price for the incredible window seat views, a bottle of white wine, a bottle of red wine, two glasses of champagne, as well as an extra cheese plate, and of course, the delicious multi-course meal. As always, we really enjoyed making today's video, and we hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on our future videos. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and it helps our channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.